Good evening. My name is John Westerman, and as principal of Goldendale High School, I'd like to welcome you to what we believe is the 122nd commencement ceremony for Goldendale High School. It will be my honor to present to you for graduation, the class of 2020. As of this recording, we will be having an in-person drive-in style graduation ceremony. This virtual graduation presentation is prepared in the case of bad weather, but is available for your viewing at home. We have prepared our ceremony with pictures and videos of all the elements that are incorporated into our traditional graduation. Thank you for being a part of the celebration for these amazing young men and women. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you some of the dignitaries who have made up the support system for all of our Goldendale students and graduates. Board Chairman Darren Hoffman, Board Members Beth Schroeder, Deborah Hart, John Hochter, and Betty Richards. Superintendent, Dr. Ellen Perconti. High School Assistant Principal, Angie Hedges. Goldendale Middle School Principal, Jennifer Tenney. Goldendale Primary School Principal, Chip Farrell. And Special Education Director, Carol Garcia. I would also like to thank all of our teaching staff kindergarten through high school, who taught one or more of these seniors. We thank you for your service to the Goldendale School District. We have many we would like to recognize individually this evening, but we'll show instead the students who fit into the categories that follow. 44, over 70%, played on a high school athletic team or participated in a school club while at Goldendale. Fourteen are members of National Honor Society. Sixteen have received college credit through college in the high school running start or other advanced placement opportunities. Twenty-seven attended all of their years of school, kindergarten through senior year, here in Goldendale and Centerville or Roosevelt and Goldendale. Four have made a commitment to enlist now or in the future to defend our country in any branch of our armed forces. We'd also like to thank those of you who have been a coach of any kind, a club advisor of any kind, or a youth leader of any kind in the community for our graduates. A special thanks to the following people who helped prepare for tonight. Catherine Wall and Mary Lee, who have served as senior advisors and graduation ceremony advisors during one of the most interesting senior years on record. Assistant Principal Angie Hedges, Jamie Raleigh, Marissa Bateman, Judy Seifert, Charlie Thiele, and Stephen Randall. Each year, I ask the members of the senior class to give me words that describe their class. Here are the top 10 in reverse order based on the number of repeated words for the class of 2020. Honorable mention that didn't make the list, but stated several times, quarantined. Number 10, unique. Number nine, intelligent. Number eight, athletic. Number seven, strong. Number six, resilient. Number five, enthusiastic. Number four, hardworking. Number three, creative. Number two, determined. Number one, listed 13 times, 
This class knows they are funny people. I then asked our teachers to give me words that describe the class of 2020. What do you think they might have said? They did say a lot. Ambitious, compassionate, competitive, courageous, dependable, determined, endearing, fearless, fun, funny, high achievers, inspiring, inquisitive, motivated, leaders, overachievers, respectful, talented, tenacious, trailblazers, and in these times, especially quarantined, resilient, greatly missed, and unforgettable. The senior class has chosen as its motto, so many roads we have crossed, so many hills we have climbed, so many dreams yet to conquer. Those of us viewing this with you tonight have watched you cross those roads and have seen the hills you have climbed. We are so proud of you and know you have faced the adversities of the last three months. Please know, although you've missed many senior experiences this spring, you are in our hearts forever. You will not be forgotten. We hope you have felt the support of your teachers, your coaches, your families, and our entire community who have reached out to you to make the end of your senior year memorable. Through Friday night lights, thank you, Mrs. Cochran and coaches, through banners and signs, Thank you to the senior parents, Mr. Krieg, Mrs. Hedges, senior advisors, senior class officers, and especially thank you to our community members who rallied immediate financial support for the banners along Simcoe and Columbus. Your final months have become the passion of the greater Goldendale High School family. According to the latest information collected by Mrs. Lee, 24 of you plan to attend a two-year community or technical college. 15 plan to attend a four-year university. 4 of you plan to go into the military. 19 plan to go immediately into the workforce. A few of the career areas they have chosen include dental hygienist, IT specialist, radiology, business, mechanic, environmental science, vet tech, cosmetology, animation, engineering, plumbing, medical fields, accounting, construction management, education, nursing, criminal justice, military, flight support, ag business, fisheries, bakery owner, social services, pilot, event planning, sports business, exercise science, and music therapy. In terms of your dreams and the promise of where you go after tonight, I'd encourage you to find a way during your life to give yourself to a greater cause. Find something you are passionate about and don't give up until you achieve it. And students and family, there will be no better time than tonight to tell those that you love that you do. We are here tonight to honor these young adults who have been supported and nurtured by all of you who are viewing or will view this presentation. I appreciate each and every one of you for helping these students as they have reached this point, not just to finishing what they have set out to do, but in reaching the point of new beginnings. Now I'd like to introduce to you Ellie Rising, our 2020 salutatorian. On behalf of Goldendale High School, I present to you the salutatorian plaque, a copy of which will be placed at the entry to the high school before we hear our salutatorian deliver her speech, I'd like to acknowledge her parents. Ellie's parents are Rob and Julie Rising. Here is salutatorian Ellie Rising. Good evening, everyone. 
and thank you all for tuning in tonight to celebrate the class of 2020. Well, I don't know about you, but this wasn't really the type of graduation I was expecting. After a traditional graduation ceremony was no longer an option, I prepared myself for a drive-in style graduation. I thought, okay, I can work with that, and wrote a fitting speech for the occasion. Well, turns out that idea didn't end up working either. So now, here I am, talking to a camera, trying not to think too much about how you can see me, but I can't see you. So, now that everyone is sick of online classes, assuming some of you have actually been doing your online assignments, welcome to a close up of me presenting my five minute speech. I'm so sorry, this is a very difficult time for us all. We never would have thought our high school experience would be brought to an end by a pandemic. What a strange time these past couple of months have been. We have watched our entire world change in a matter of weeks. We have witnessed our goals and plans being thrown out the window. The class of 2020 lost the majority of our last. No last prom, no last spring sports season, no last state competition, no last band or choir concert, no last, last day of school. It was quite the anticlimactic end to our entire high school experience. Some of us had big plans for this spring. I personally was looking forward to one last trip to the state track meet, where we would drink five apple juice boxes a day and where I could finally get my state champion title. For a lot of us, it felt like four years of hard work had gone to waste. We didn't get one last chance to prove everything we're capable of. We were left with so many questions. Will we have a graduation? When will I be able to travel again? When can I see my friends again? What does this mean for my future? Does Mr. Walters still wear his headband in quarantine? We were faced with challenges few other classes before us have had to experience. Some of us realized that online classes weren't as enjoyable as we may have thought. We had to learn how to spend our days alone in isolation, figure out what to do with our time once we have gone through every good Netflix series. We were all faced with uncertainty, fear, confusion, and loneliness. We had to watch Corvin Riley improv dance in a contemporary world issue Zoom call. For some of us, this was the first time in our lives where we actually missed school. We persevered in a way few other graduating classes have. We didn't just persevere through high school and the challenges that typically involves. But we faced the extra challenge of a pandemic. Life hit us with an out of control curveball. When that happens, you have a couple of choices. Let that curveball hit you and shatter you to pieces. Give up, so feel sorry for yourself. Or you can find a way to piece things back together. While this may not have been the senior year or graduation ceremony we were expecting, we are all still celebrating together, even if it is through a screen. What you take away from this experience is up to you. This all serves as a reminder that nothing is guaranteed and to not take the little things like face-to-face -face social interaction, hugs, and toilet paper for granted. We were reminded of the importance of communication and creativity. For most of us, high school will be a small chapter in our lives, but this unique end to it all will make it all the more unforgettable. Remember to look for the positives in a storm of negative events. 
What we have taken away from this strange time has better prepared us for future obstacles we will face in life. Because at the end of the day, challenge makes us stronger. The class of 2020 was threatened with being forgotten, almost as if we nearly disappeared. And yet, at the same time, our class is making history. We really set the bar high for senior skip day. We were faced with the unexpected, one event after another, disappointment after disappointment, setback after setback, and we celebrated anyway. We put on our caps and gowns despite being stripped of our experiences, and we will toss our caps into another cloud of uncertainty. We have the unique opportunity to not only go out into a new world, but to create it ourselves as we embark on a new adventure under new circumstances. The world has changed, but our ability to overcome has not. This chapter of our lives was cut short, but our story is far from over. We have a lot left to say. Let's not let the class of 2020 be remembered as just the class that got canceled. Let us not be remembered as victims of trying times and unfortunate circumstances. Let's make the class of 2020 remembered as a class that prospered in the wake of uncertainty. The world is different now. In class of 2020, we're ready for it. And now we welcome our 2020 valedictorian, Cameron Maines. On behalf of Goldendale High School, I present to you the Goldendale High School 2020 valedictorian plaque, a copy of which will be placed at the entry to the high school. Again, before Cameron delivers his valedictorian speech, I'd like to acknowledge his parents. Cameron's parents are Art and Nancy Maines. Here is valedictorian Cameron Maines. Good evening, parents, families, friends, teachers, all of you watching or listening online, and of course, my fellow graduates. I'm Cameron Maines, the valedictorian of the Goldendale High School class of 2020. I am honored to speak before you today and to celebrate our accomplishments despite the current pandemic situation. Each year, the valedictorian talks about why their graduating class is different, but this year, we actually are different. Not only are we all incredibly smart, talented, and attractive, but the class of 2020 is unlike any other class who has walked the stage, received their diplomas, and turned their tassels, mostly because we didn't think it was actually gonna happen. We completed more than a decade of education, and the three months we were most excited about vanished. We were sent home without warning, without saying our goodbyes, without a clue of what would happen next. We missed our senior trip, our prom, our last band concert, and our final sports season. We lost the end of our 13 years of school, the final wrap up of years of hard work, friendship, and memories. We lost those months where we remembered why we like each other and that we would miss each other. We can't get those times back, but this won't define us. Instead, we will remember the last 13 years of the lives we've shared together. We arrived at primary school, short and adorable, debatably the smartest and most well-behaved class they'd ever seen. We became entrepreneurs selling beaded lizards and paracord bracelets, while some of us became famous on CNN, Cheetah News Network, that is. Some of us were more self-managers than others, and I found some of my Cheetah Pride cards the other day. I think I was the richest kid in school. In middle school, we entered the weird and annoying part of our lives that many of us will choose to forget. Fifth grade homework, yoga balls instead of chairs in Mrs. Johnson's class, reading all of her twists, newspaper bridges, web leaders. Does anyone remember when most of our track team got suspended and missed the final track meet of the year? Or when our boat got mooned by the old lady on the jet boat field trip? And our boys basketball team rocked. I think it was our best season ever. Finally, we got to high school, which is where we began to find our passions amid the stress and actual homework. Somehow, Mrs. Hedges was there too. I think she's following us, right her in second grade, again in fourth grade, and now we have her here too. Hmm. 
We finally got to choose some of our classes, whether it was band, robotics, metal fab, Spanish, or art. We fought together to get extended lunch and to keep it. We cheered to each other on in our sports and clubs. Our TSA and FFA kids won a state and nationals. Our student section at the state volleyball tournament this season was so loud, the refs had to tell us to quiet down. And our cross country ran away with the district ch championship again this year. Then reality kicked in and we realized we had to fill out college applications and write scholarship essays and finish our senior presentations. I personally appreciated the email that said, if you aren't Cameron, Ellie, or Jade, you still have to turn your presentations in. Nice work, ladies. Now we've gotten into the schools we wanted or joined the military or even applied for jobs. We will branch out onto our separate paths and be successful because we know how to work hard, how to meet deadlines, how to write resumes and essays, and how to speak in front of people. But we will never forget the memories we made here together because we are Goldendale kids through and through. This chapter of our lives didn't end with the bang. It kind of just faded away, ending with quarantine, social distancing, protective equipment, and remote learning. Rather than focusing on what we lost and missed out on, we will focus on what we did, who we were friends with, what we learned, and how much fun we had while we were here. I would like to thank a few important people that helped me along this journey. Thank you to my teachers and coaches who challenged and inspired me. My grandparents for cheering me on the whole time. My parents for loving and supporting me every step of the way. My brother Alex for being my best friend, even though he didn't really have an option. And of course, my friends and cousin for the many laughs and adventures. It would not have been so extraordinary without all of you in my life. As we turn toward the future, Remember what's important, look ahead, and create a positive impact with your own decisions. Next, we will venture, as Elsa says, into the unknown. Thank you. Okay, um, my name is Beth Schroeder. I am a school board member for the Glendale School District, and it is my privilege to announce the scholarships um, and the recipients of those scholarships this evening. Um, we have Sterling Beasley. He has received the Bruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,500 renewable for one year for a total of $3,000. University of Idaho Western Undergrad Exchange, $15,084 renewable for four years for a total of $75,420. Washington State Council of County and City Employees, Council 2, John Haydick Memorial Scholarship for $2,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship for $2,500. Alamus Lodge No. 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows for $1,000. Republic Services for $2,500. And the Klickitat Valley Educational Trust, $1,000 renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Total scholarships earned $90,420. Kristen Bighorn, Bruckert Scholarship Fund, $2,500 renewable for one year for a total of $5,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship for $2,500. Almas Lodge number 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows for $1,000. Republic Services, for $2,500. Klickitat Valley Health Memorial Foundation Scholarship Award for $500. Klickitat Valley Educational Trust, $1,000 renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Cal Souther Memorial Scholarship for $10,000. Klickitat Valley Health Services Employees Association for $1,200. And the Health Careers Scholarship for $500. Total scholarships earned $27,200. Corbin Bland, Rucker Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. Army ROTC Scholarship, full tuition, three year AD national winner CWU, $10,000 per year, renewable for three years for a total of $40,000. Goldendale Grange, number 49, $1,250. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Goldendale Education Association, 
$5,500. Total scholarships earned $44,250. Mark Blunt, Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,500, renewable for one year for a total of $3,000. Total scholarships, $3,000. Jenna Bradwell, Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,000. Total scholarships earned, $4,000. Sandra Crook, David R. Mattern Science Scholarship, $1,000. Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,500 renewable for one year for a total of $3,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Alamus Lodge, number 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, $1,000. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Total scholarships earned, $8,000. Caitlin Gallagher, Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $500 renewable for one year, total of $1,000. Theo Caldwell Memorial Scholarship, $1,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $1,500. Total scholarships earned, $3,500. Madeline Gilk, Northwest Culinary Institute Culinary Arts Scholarship, $2,000. Total scholarships, $2,000. Abigail Hedges, Rucker Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. Shrobridge Children Memorial Fund, $1,000. PEO Chapter AM of Goldendale, $750. Washington State University, 2020 to 2021 Regents Scholars Award, $4,000 per year renewable for four years, total of $20,000. Washington State University Experience Waiver, $1,000. Washington State University Regents Waiver 1, $4,000. Lowell Erland Memorial, $400. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Goldendale Education Association, $500. SCAC Principals Association Scholarship, $200. Klickitat Valley Educational Trust, $1,000, renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Cal Southern Memorial Scholarship, $5,000. Goldendale Kiwanis Community Service Award, $500. Total scholarships earned, $42,350. Andrew John Irig. Rucker Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year, total of $2,000. Lowell Erland Memorial, $400. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,000. Alamus Lodge, number 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, $1,000. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Klickitat County Educational Trust, $1,000 renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Cal Southern Memorial Scholarship, $10,000. Total scholarships earned, $19,900. Curtis Kaiser, Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,500 renewable for one year, total of $3,000. Goldendale Grange, number 49, $1,250. Klickitat County Cattle Women and Klickitat County Livestock Growers Association Scholarship, $500. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $1,000. Goldendale Education Association, $500. Ranger College Rodeo Scholarship, $13,648, renewable for one year, total of $27,296. Cal Southern Memorial Scholarship, $10,000. Total scholarships earned, $43,546. Dylan Layfield. Marine Corps Foundation Scholarship, $7,500 renewable for four years, 
total of $37,500, the Lance Corporal Travis Layfield Memorial Scholarship, $1,000, Iraq and Af Afghanistan Service Grant, $5,830, total scholarships earned, $44,330. Nicholas Lee, Record Scholarship Fund, $1,500, renewable for one year, for a total of $3,000. Washington State University Scholarships, $14,840. Zion Lutheran Church Scholarship, $500. Clickitat County Cattle Women and Clickitat County Livestock Growers Association Scholarship, $500. Duly Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,000. Goldendale Education Association, $500. Clickitat Valley Educational Trust, $1,000 renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Total scholarships earned, $25,340. Cameron Maines, Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year, total of $2,000. The Van Hoy Award, $500. Lowell Erland Memorial, $400. Clickitat Valley Health Board of Commissioners, $1,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,000. Alamus Lodge, number 15, of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, $1,000. Goldendale Lions Club, $500. Clickitat Valley Health Memorial Foundation Scholarship Award, $500. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Goldendale Education Association, $500. Grand Lodge and Rebecca Assembly of Washington, L.J. Jones, $2,500. Clickitat County Educational Trust, $1,000, renewable for three years, for a total of $4,000. Cal Souther Memorial Scholarship, $5,000. Total scholarships earned, $20,400. Anastasia Martinez, Clickitat Valley Health Memorial Foundation Scholarship Award, $500. Clickitat Valley Health Services Employees Association, $1,200. Total scholarships, $1,700. Ashlyn Mishenko. Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000, renewable for one year, for a total of $2,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,000. Total scholarships earned, $4,000. Delaney Peters. Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. Lowell Erland Memorial, $400. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Alamus Lodge, number 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, $1,000. Goldendale Motorsports Association, $500. Western Oregon University Scholarship, $1,500. Ken McCullough Memorial Scholarship, $1,000. Clickitat Valley Educational Trust, Marcella Montgomery, $250 renewable for three years for a total of $1,000. Total scholarships earned, $9,900. Corbin Riley. David R. Mattern Science Scholarship, $1,000. Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. Trowbridge Children Memorial Fund, $1,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Alamus Lodge, number 15 of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, $1,000. Washington State University, Boland College of Engineering and Architecture Dean Scholarship, $1,000 renewable for four years, for a total of $5,000. Washington State University Achievement Award, $2,000, renewable for one year, total of $4,000. Washington University Admission Award, $1,000. Goldendale Lions Club, $500. Clickitat Valley Educational Trust, 
$1,000 renewable for three years for a total of $4,000. Cal Southern Memorial Scholarship, $5,000. Klickitat Valley Health Services Employees Association, $1,200. Total scholarships earned, $28,200. $200. Alyssa Rising. Ruckert Scholarship Fund, $1,000 renewable for one year for a total of $2,000. PEO Chapter AM of Goldendale, $750. Lowell Erland Memorial, $400. Seattle Pacific University Trustee Scholarship Award, Athletic Scholarship Award, Early Success Award and Advantage Award, $45,000, renewable for four years, for a total of $225,000. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Klickitat Valley Health Memorial Foundation Scholarship Award, $500. Emma and Freeman Grow Scholarship, $500. Goldendale Education Association, $500. Cal Southern Memorial Scholarship, $5,000. Goldendale Kiwanis Community Service Award, $500. The Lynn Hall Memorial Scholarship, $300. And Health Career Scholarship, $500. Total scholarships awarded, $238,450. Alyssa Weiss. Dooley Leah Rebecca Lodge Foundation Scholarship, $2,500. Cal Souther Memorial Scholarship, $10,000. Total scholarships awarded, $12,500. The total amount awarded to our graduates in local scholarships, including renewable dollars, is $201,000. $201,600. The total amount awarded in all scholarships, including renewable dollars, is $672,986. Hi, I'm Ann Cochran, and I have the honor of giving out some awards today. The first is the Spalding Award. Each year, the Spalding Award is earned by two seniors, one gentleman, and one lady. This award is given to the male and female athlete who, according to voting by head coaches, have had the most outstanding athletic achievements throughout their high school careers. This year's female Spalding Award winner is Miss Ellie Rising. Ellie has earned eight varsity letters, was a state participant seven times, missing her eighth time due to the school closures this spring. She was state top 10 in track three times, placing 10th, 5th, and 2nd. She was district cross country champion two times and finished ninth at state in 2019. She was also a four time cross country first team all lead selection. This year's Spalding Award winner for the females will be taking her athletic talents to Seattle Pacific University, running on a track and cross country scholarship this fall. Congratulations to Ellie Rising. This year's male Spalding Award winner goes to Mr. Corbin Bland. Corbin, during his athletic career, earned 10 varsity letters. His honors include Ninth and 10th place finishes at state as a freshman in the 110 and 300 hurdles. He was first team all league football as an all purpose back, as a senior, and as a junior, he was honorable mention offense. He also earned honorable mention during baseball his junior year. Congratulations to Mr. Corbin Bland. This year, I also get to award the Athlete of Character Award. This one is close to my heart because both nominees were in my class as 10 year olds in the fifth grade. As teachers in younger grades, we often say, I really look forward to watching this kid grow up and go through high school. And I know I've said a lot of times, I hope that when they get through high school, 
they'll be the same as they were when they were 10. This year, I'm very proud to announce the male and female athlete, athletes of character have remained the same leaders, role models, workers, speakers, and go-to people that they were when they were 10. It makes my heart sing to announce this year's Athletes of Character winners, Miss Abby Hedges and Mr. Austin McCune. Thank you. It is my pleasure to announce the recipients of the Washington State Honors Awards. These seniors qualify for the state recognition with their high GPA and college placement scores, placing them in the top 10% of all Washington State graduates. Congratulations to Jenna Bradwell, Abby Hedges, Cameron Maines, Ellie Rising, and Jade Smith. We are very proud of you. Additionally, I get to announce the recipients of the Citizenship Award for the Class of 2020. This award was voted on by the GHS staff and is presented to one female and one male who they believe exemplify citizenship qualities. The recipients this year are Abby Hedges, and Corbin Bland. Congratulations and way to go class of 2020. Now, to my official reason for being with you tonight. By the power vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Goldendale School District, and as the principal of Goldendale High School, it is my honor to attest that these students have met all of the requirements of the Goldendale School District and are duly qualified and prepared to receive their diplomas. In the following video, rather than seeing our graduates walk across the stage, Please see each one in the senior slideshow, which was prepared by seniors Abby Hedges and Anastasia Martinez.
paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence But committed no crime And bad mistakes I've made a few I've had my share And 
take the phone off the hook and disappear for a while. It's all right, you can't afford to lose a day or two. Oh, when will you realize Vienna waits for you? And you know that when the truth is told, that you can get what you want, or you can just get old. You're gonna. Don't you realize Vienna waits for you? When will you realize Vienna waits for you? As we conclude tonight's ceremony, I'd like to introduce to you two of our highest achieving students, Abby Hedges and Kristen Bighorn, both of whom, like Cameron and Ellie, have a perfect 4.0 GPA to lead the traditional turning of the tassel. Graduates, if you can stand wherever you are, and if you have your graduation caps on, please follow along. Will the class of 2020 please join us in the turning of the tassels? Of the tassels? Congratulations, Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. We are proud of you.
I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you wanna go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile More than anything More than anything I hope you dance That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all that you want it to Your dreams stay big, your worries stay Small, you never need to carry more than you can hold And while you're out there getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same things to Yeah, this is my wish Hope when you take that jump You don't feel the fall Screams out the scream of your name. Hope if everybody runs, you'll say it's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side.